first time playing mm -hmm. Playing what? Did you, play, did you play Madison Square Garden before? Yeah, and last time, the first gig we ever came, we headlined Madison Square Garden. Sold out three nights in a row. Yeah, we did pretty... all week, didn't we? Yeah, we did all week. It was just sold out all, every single night. No, I'm just joking. You know, I had someone the other day say to me, because I was looking tight, and they said to me, how are you doing? I said, I'm a bit fluey, haven't slept much. They said, yeah, you look really old. Yeah, that's what people are saying to me. Today. What's been going on? at the same time. Yeah, but I can't blink. <laughs> Dad, guess what? Yeah, after this, after this, me and Dad are going to a radio station. So you got to you know, do up my zip on my bag and get everything. He's going. Yeah. Can you tell my dad to pack my bag as well? Is your father? No, that's my uncle. Uh, uh, uh. You gonna be rage? Rage. <laughs> R -r 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 <laughs> you can remix it, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm not precious about the whole thing, you can change the chords, whatever, but I think you should keep the vocal. Yeah. Um, do you practice your favourite rock moves in your bathroom here? Yeah, sometimes, like, put on a guitar and mm. jump around, do a bit of... In front of the mirror? Yeah, oh, I don't have a mirror in that. I also didn't say anything about $10 million with a gum chewing. <laughs> okay. I'm joking, I'm joking. I had to write an album, I had to write... Some ballroom dancing. <laughs> some neon ballroom, a little bit of neon ballroom. No, we're going to change the name to ballroom dancing because that's what <laughs> people thought it was at the airport. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Didn't, was it? No, it was neon, but someone thought... Are you ever worried that someone's going to be there with a long lens camera through your kitchen window and there you are popping all these pills and some new scandal will start? Uh, I will be now. <laughs> oh, no, I've given them an idea. <laughs> There's probably some macho guys watching this going, oh, it's so uncool, man. Like, it's, it's, if you, if you, there's someone special in your life, it's, it's, I think it's nice to go out and do that kind of thing. Like, I'm sure there's plenty of guys um, watching this now going, oh, that guy's the biggest loser, he's so uncool. But, yeah, I think it's cool. That's what I'd, I'd be doing if you. I was watching it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've been surfing? Uh-huh. For oh. like, uh, for like, since I got back from Hawaii, yeah. His house would be nice, I bet, huh? That's He's on nice. that billabong couch. Oh, it's, it's quaint. Okay. It's nice. Nice. Small. Yeah, I'm yeah, one of those little market fans, dance routine. Yeah. Um, not so much Justin Timberlake solo stuff. I don't think yeah. it just doesn't work as well without, without four people doing it with him. No one wants to see one person yeah. dance. No, it's really the feeding birds. Yeah, they just kept stealing my things. <laughs> stealing your things. <laughs> Sort of seagull style when they come and take your chips. Yeah, they were swans level. though. They were swans. Swans. But you, are you into surfing too? Not skateboarding? I'm into conglomerate rocks. I like collecting rocks and finding. Rocks. Yeah, rocks. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Only conglomerate rocks though. Okay. I like to uh, analyze the parts because I segment them and. You know, just to basically oh. study the, the the life of the rock, study the wear and tear that the culture and the weather and the age has had on it. Yeah, can you find out how, how old a stone is? Yeah, definitely. It takes a while. I've got microscopes at home and things, but it takes me about, probably about a year of research because I've got to go through books and stuff. But I like it. It's interesting. How, how old is the old Estonia? I've got a stone which is 200,000 years old. 200,000 years old! She's like, Daniel, are you on smack? And I was like, nah. And then she said... Not yet. Yeah, Tom, Tom, have you got any? And also, Emma Stevens of East Burwood, Victoria, wants to know, whilst we're on viewer questions, are you currently attached romantically? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I've got a girlfriend. All oh, right. Called Sweet. <laughs> Isn't that a puppet? No. It's a, named it's a, a dog. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're, um, we're, we're nearly engaged. <laughs> and Chris is <laughs> engaged as well. Ben's yeah, yeah, married next week. Ben's no, married Ben's, next week. Ben's, Ben's so what does this mean? I mean, you, hit, you know, groups like, uh, you know, Destiny's Child, they break up and, uh, not break up, but they take time apart to do their own thing. And the idea of a group like them getting back together seems like it's not going to happen Well, it's now. funny you should say that because we often reference ourselves to Destiny's Child. <laughs> 
I consider myself more the, the uh, Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> He's more the Kelly. <laughs> Whoever the fuck's playing bass, shut the fuck up. Silver chair on stage, we now fucking own this place. I'm just joking, don't worry, I was just joking. We don't own it, you own it to your fucking country. But in our household, we don't have pay TV. So we watch educational programs such as maths blocks on ABC. There we go. Now, what type of stunt is that fruit? you know, good for? Oh, uh, it's good. Maybe, I don't know, it might be good for the Rage Against the Machine fans that don't like our band. Hand them out before the show, just go, look, tomatoes are better than bottles. A strange one for Daniel, uh, from Chiara. Chiara voleva sapere se hai mai avuto esperienze paranormali. If you've ever had supernatural experiences, paranormal experiences. I didn't ask the question, Chiara asked the question. Yeah, I had a ghost in my house once. You had go ha avuto fantasmi dentro la sua casa una volta. So you're a superstitious kind of guy? I mean, in Italy, they're really superstitious. In Italia siete molto superstitious. Oh, not really, but... No. There was a ghost in my house. C'era un fantasma. Can you tell me any more about this? Or has he gone? Is he still there? È ancora no, lì? Fantasma. Gone. He's gone. There was a little bright light about that big... Andatevi, era una, una piccola luce circa questa grandezza qua. And it shot out like a big exploding star. Hey. And then all the all the cutlery started shaking in my house, and my TV turned off. Jeez, and I and I think people don't realise that I'm a comic genius. <laughs> yeah, I forget what I was saying. I'm sure it was interesting. <laughs> what do you think's so good about Silver Chair? Nothing. Nothing. We suck. Pretty much that. Should really start listening to some of Wally's work. Yeah. His early work, especially. Okay, well, let's go on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> aerobics, do you do aerobics? Yeah, regularly. Mornings and afternoons. Now, is that is that to help uh, move the bones around, help facilitate movement a bit more? Um, no, I don't really do them. <laughs> so is it just, is it just for recreational purposes? Do you put on a headband and a leotard, a bit of flash dance? Yeah, and my friends film it and we put a soundtrack to it. And then... <laughs> good stuff. And, and so, yeah, you're not a very good band and, and stuff like that. You just ignore them and keep going. It's all doing... about bombs, really. About what? Bombs. Bombs. Yeah. People who have ridiculed us in the past have regretted it because they're... Buildings have gone down and stuff like that, but <laughs> that doesn't happen. So, so much crap. Just walking down the street and someone goes, I thought you were dead. So, here, yeah, I am. <laughs> Got a PA stack at home? Yeah. yeah. Backyard job. Don't you have one? That's all right. Newcastle. It's pretty cool. It's the, it's the happening place. Everyone's Everybody got a PA else. in their room. Did you get uh, pretty spun out when you saw it for the first time? Totally. Yeah, we were so excited. It was like... The kids are going to love this one. <laughs> I just knew it. Just, you just can feel it. Instinctually, like, just having done this for many years, I just knew. I was like, kids, yes. <laughs> what about, OK, playing live? Has your equipment ever, like, completely failed you and you've been stuck there going, great? All the time. We okay. seem, for some reason, we seem to go through uh, just these little spurts where nothing wants to work. Actually, in New Zealand, the whole monitor system just stopped. Didn't it? Yeah, it was New Zealand the other day. No way. Um, what do you do, though? Seriously, what do you do? Do you just have to stand there and tell jokes? I mean... We just usually gather backstage and cry. Yeah, we <laughs> have embarrassment yeah. and humiliation. It's just not even worth being here. Shed a few tears and then it comes back on and we pretend that we're all cool. And, Never happened. Yeah, Never happened. Exactly. Denial. Would you ever let Beavis... Oh, this is not a question for a man. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I could ask it anyway. We're open-minded. Would you ever let Beavis or Butthead score with you? And if so, who would you prefer? Um, either. They're both good looking, I think. You gotta do a full sentence. Um, Beavis and Butthead are both good looking, so either would be nice. Yeah. Um, do you so, um, this is dedicated to, to Ronaldo. He's our friend. We're friends with Ronaldo, your fucking soccer star. He's our friend. Yeah, let's cheer for Ronaldo. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Ben Gillies is just all muscle, no talent. Cristiano just seems to have the best of both worlds. 
I'm sitting here in the winner's circle because I've already won. Different kind of pie compared to us. <laughs> so mean, you're not even in the same... Um, no, I suppose if you're going to categorise things, I don't think that we would come under um, that kind of category. I do. You do? Yeah. I think Way we down. should appeal to every demographic, so we're kind of branching out. We're going to start some more pop-based stuff soon. Really? Yeah. Are you going to get some choreographed dance moves? Yeah, three-part <laughs> harmonies. Yeah, Chris and I are going to start singing. That's some really high stuff. It's really nice. Yeah, really excited. Overwhelmingly excited. Yeah. I would, actually. We, we, can we just arrange a, a bit of a lie down? Is there other stuff that you're that you're writing that sounds different from from the album? I mean, has your music changed since you recorded that record? Yeah, it's starting to sound more like um, Carly Minogue. <laughs> Please, <laughs> not hard. Do you cry sometimes? Um, no, I never cry. Oh come on! No, never I'm, ever. Never cried. I cried once when I was born. That was it. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh. I came out and I was <laughs> I crying that. and I got it all out. That's good. Do you start? Do you love it? Do you thrive on people going, ah, piss off, mate? We thrive on pain. Yeah. Pain, and pain makes us stronger. So if people throw stuff at us, we just can't. Yeah, I think we're definitely a sex object. Um, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's as if we're sex thing. objects. We're all we're nothing like it. Look at Ben, look at Chris, look at me. We're not sex objects. We're just yeah. little Australian <laughs> we're guys. Thugs. Yeah. We're Australian thugs. Yeah, we, we play Thomas. music. We're not sex objects at all, except to um, French ladies that are in the over 50 bracket. Three piece, and I've got blonde hair, stuff like that. I don't say it's just because the hair is that long, and I'm trying to grow, but it won't grow. So I'm just going to keep trying to grow it, and if it doesn't grow, I'll just shave my head and be a punk. Rocket scientist as yeah. well, yeah. yeah. Astrology. Yeah. Yeah, things like that I like to study, I'm really interested in it. We can still incorporate that through the music, perhaps, yeah. throughout your lives. Yeah, we hang out on spaceships and... Nice. I've been pregnant once, and I didn't like it. Did you track that through the bottle? Yeah, I'll feed the shit out of him too. I don't have any numbers. We're doing some sort of like packages and features for other things. First one we're doing is Valentine's Day. You obviously know what Valentine's Day is. What's that? What? Um, it's where. Well, it's <laughs> <laughs> well, we know. <laughs> you know what it is. Well, it's next week. What can the crowd expect tonight? Um, just mainly pyrotechnics and just exploring guns and uh, explosions, pyrotechnics, cannons, anything that makes a loud noise and shoots something hard. So, other than that, it's just going to be. Rock and roll, it's not going to be particularly good, particularly special. It's just going to, it's going to be what the kids want. That's all, that's all it is. It's all about guns. God, abuse me, but I like it. What is it all about? Sorry about that. I'm no, tremendously no, sorry about that. Yeah, good. Do you want to do a guest appearance? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about this. Any, um, you played in France before, obviously, you got some sort of explanation for this? Yeah, oh. it's a uh, French echidna. It is, it really is. On the bottom, it's an animal. It just sits in that little pot all day, takes in the music. It's actually very, um, in France, it's considered very spirit. Hello? Oh, hi. It's Dylan. What a surprise. Hey, you're that guy, Hi, Ben. How are you? Hi, Enforcer. Can hi. we come in? Yeah, welcome. Rad. In order to make more money, we'd... <laughs> We'd market ourselves as like a, a boy, a boy group, or you know, one of them teen, teen idol groups like the Spice Girls and like all them boy bands. They all have different images, so they could appeal to different markets. So yeah, we <laughs> we decided to. We're only joking though. We're not serious. We, we hate that. You'd have a problem if you were Do you ever write songs in class when you should be working? Yeah, sometimes we just pull out a guitar of a cupboard and shit and mm. just. Play songs with our maths teachers and stuff like that. That's nice. And some, yeah, they jam with it. Oh, I'm Melissa. I'm Angel. And I'm Veronica. And we're Silverchair. And you're watching your television. It's got rage on. Yeah. So it's not like a signaling that you're going to turn into Metallica or anything? Like... Yeah. We're going to turn into Metallica. <laughs> Just turn into them. It's turned straight into it, I don't know how it's just going to happen one Tell us about the project, what's it called for crying out loud? 
Uh, so the new project, I decided to rename it Sandy Johnson. Because the sand and Johns. Okay. And Makes then... perfect sense. The less, yeah. Less friends. Yeah, Fake friends, less you find out the real ones. popular as the years go by. Mm -hmm. But that, that's, that's one of the fun things. See how many friends you lose in a week yeah. and stuff, that's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It sounds great. And we, go, and we go to school as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's best bit. That's like, you know, we wake up every morning and go, yeah. School. We got school. Do you help at the moment? I'm done already. Oh, really? <laughs> what kind of, you know, what is it? Got it. I've got a few <laughs> picks of this here. <laughs> There you go. Can we keep one? Can you I keep one? Yeah. Awesome, look at we'll this. Sign up for you later. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> Just two Chris. Two Chris. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Daniel. Thanks. I had an imaginary friend, but called Robin for about three years. That was pretty fun. Yeah. But he wasn't an alien, to a bust of your knowledge. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think he's real. I think he's just imaginary.